So it's 6 30 in the morning, and I figure when's a better time to record a YouTube video? I mean, there is better ones. Anyway, I've been up for a few hours. But I was watching Phil DeFranco, and he posted a story about Michael Vick getting a Courage Award. And I, I, I don't know what more to say <laughs> other than what the fuck, man. Um, basically, Phil DeFranco said it the best. Um, he just, you don't get a reward for killing dogs and then coming back and saying, I don't kill dogs anymore. I think his uh, pedophile metaphor is great. Uh, just check out the video, what he says about it. But it's just, I don't understand this. Um, I, I, I get it. Michael Vick is a reformed person. He's, he's back in... He's back into his life, and he, he made some mistakes, and I, I, I buy that, you know. I buy that he made some mistakes, and he's recovering from a from his story, and, you know, he won't do that crap again. He won't be an idiot anymore. He had a power trip, and he thought he was better than dogs and thought he could kill them. Whatever. It's a terrible thing, and maybe he's not really forgiven for that, but you know what? The best he can do now is move on. But to give him a courage award, and, and for him to say, hold on, let me, let me sit, click on this. I've overcome a lot more than probably one single individual can handle or bear. I don't, I don't know. I don't know about that. Uh, he also went on to say, it means a great deal to me. I was voted unanimous, unanimously by my teammates. They know what I've been through. I've been through a lot. It's been great to come back and have an opportunity to come and play and be uh, with a great group of guys. I'm just ecstatic about that and I enjoy every day. I'm like, I don't... The whole his teammates voted him unanimously, and it's like I don't, I don't, I don't get that. Like you can't. All he did was go to jail for committing a crime, and then he came back and made his life normal again, and was getting paid millions of dollars to play football. Not a, not a big fan of the story. Sorry, Michael Vick, and like I support your comeback. I'm not saying I'm not an anti Michael Vick person, but it's like, what did you? You don't deserve a courage, a freaking courage award. But uh, that's it for the Ultra Mega Sports Show. We'll be back on Monday live on air 95.9 FM in Winnipeg. Tune into that. Also, the West Wing Classic is this week. We will be broadcasting live as well on 95.9 FM. So definitely tune into that. There will be a schedule. Our website will be back up soon. So don't worry about that. If you're freaking out, it's winter break. I'm not doing any work for that website right now anyway. But uh, that's it out of me. I will see you guys later.